Hi, welcome to the Waffle Beaver channel. And I made this prototype bench. And besides uh, showing off my dog, I <laughs> really wanted to show off my hardware inserts that I made out of HTE plastic. And I think I'm gonna call them the threaded beavers. So these uh, threaded beavers are used to make knockdown furniture. And this little bench can be kind of taken apart pretty quickly. The thing I wanted to show you is, uh, so these dowel nuts that you can buy, I think they only make them for like really like eight millimeter, a little bit big, a little bit smaller. And they're, they're pretty good. I like to use these a lot for um, knock down furniture and it works out. It has like a cool head. Like I like that look, but I wanted something bigger. So that's why I started making these out of recycled HDPE. And um, behind me, right here, I actually have my uh, little induction pot that I used to melt some plastic. Basically old hard hats and um, milk jugs. HDPE is uh, number two in the following arrows. So how this works is this little piece will stick in right there and I can connect um, another two by four piece to this piece with a through bolt. And this threads in and if I wanna remove it, it's pretty easy. And I'm surprised at how strong the thread is with HDPE. And I'm using it now, I'm kinda of testing it out, but I hope this gives people some ideas that you can use recycled plastics for other things um, in smaller parts, because I know I figured if I can use if I can use plastic as hardware, maybe we can still compress that tons and tons of trash into smaller pieces and still keep the wood look because we still have a lot of pallet wood, we still have a lot of lumber that can be recycled, and it's um it's pretty interesting how well this stuff machines. Like I can't believe how easy it is to work with as far as like once you get it into a small compressed part. You can kind of see the layers that it builds up. And so I just wanted to show how to cut up plastic with the scissors. And for small milk jugs, this stuff cuts really easily. So this is where plastic recycling really starts. And before I do this, I actually have to take out all the labels. So if you're gonna be recycling or plan on giving this to someone to recycle, please take off the labels first because it helps a lot. So I'll start with heating up the induction plate and it's like instant heat, it's kind of crazy. And I'll just throw a little piece of plastic in and I use this little steel um, scrap as a weight and it kind of helps compress the plastic down into the cast iron skillet. And once it's there, I can it kind of becomes workable until it becomes like this little flat piece where I'll use my scrap piece of steel to roll it out. Oh yeah, I also heat up that little piece of steel because uh, having that thing hot as well is also helpful. And this is a reason why it's good to have gloves and like a good amount of different types of gloves, like these small work gloves and even the bigger silicone gloves. I kind of use both. And this is a piece of conduit that I'm heating up to. Um, it's going to be in my casting mold for the plastic. And this actually helps to get like a really smooth finish on the outside. So I'll switch back to the cast iron pan, melt the plastic more, and I'll insert the plastic into the pipe. Then I'll just heat up the uh, heat up the conduit or pipe in between, uh, I guess like little bits of the lifts of plastic as I insert it. And I just use a piece of scrap. It's actually an architectural sample that I used to cut up the plastic inside the cast iron pot. And I'm just use whatever to stuff that stuff in. Um, but yeah, it's like a process of going in between flattening out cutting some pieces up, making sure it's hot enough and really malleable to get into this, uh, get into this conduit. Conduit filled up. I'll 
get this clamp and uh, really start to compress all of that plastic in as much as possible. And uh, I should mention I heated up the outer casing with uh, using the induction plate as well. That just helps to make sure I get really good compression and it decreases the amount of air bubbles. My process could still improve a lot and um, I still got like a couple of small air bubbles and I would like to change that. So I guess you can see the voids and I am definitely not a fan of that. So I'm going to work on fixing this process a little and hopefully I can get it better. But yeah, you can see a little bit of voids in this little HDP, but it cuts pretty nice and I definitely have some, you know, you can see some dirt wood chips in there, but to me, it's not that bad. Um, I think it's still usable and I'm going to give it a try. I think they kind of actually like look cool. Kind of looks like plastic granite or something. This is a little tour. Um, did a half a lap joint on this part so that I can get a little bit of rigidity on that back brace. I think as I remake this thing, I'm gonna make that part thicker or double it up. It's just, um, I can feel it kind of flexing a little as I lie back when my wife and I are on this thing. But see how these joints work. This through bolt goes through there and it connects to these little threaded nuts one of the things that I wanted to um, talk about is that there's a lot of plastic out there I don't want to go into the the details because there's like a ton of videos that have just been Posted out by NPR and you know Precious Plastics has been doing these videos for a long time. What I really hope to do is just add a little bit more to that library and hopefully a new idea. There is other people that have um, done induction, have used induction pots to melt plastic, but I think with the induction uh, hot plate, there's actually more of an opportunity because you can put like a conduit or you can put a, a pipe and be able to cast it directly um, inside those shapes so there's definitely some benefits of using induction heating yeah what I'd like to do is use the induction coil to heat up a pipe and melt the plastic directly in there so I can have a better extrusion a more uniform consistent so I don't have any voids and all of this will take some take a little bit of uh, time and experimenting but I hope that maybe someone else will see this video have a better idea figured out how to do it before me. Um, also, there's a lot of other YouTubers who have, or there's a lot of YouTubers that I've watched before this. So Peter Brown, um, Dave Hackins from, with Precious Plastics, the Precious Plastics channel entirely. The guys from Europe have been doing more of this stuff 
for a while. So precious plastics Europe seems to be way more involved than precious plastics here in the States. Even in a place like California where I'm at, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of um, precious plastic spots that are able to do that much um, recycling as far as to the scale that we actually need it. So I hope that this video will get people, give people some ideas that maybe before buying hardware, maybe you can think about using um, HDPE plastic. It's readily available, it's pretty cheap because it's free. It just takes some time and labor, which you know I know most people don't have, but I hope that we can change that. You know, there's, there's just so much things that we can do um, in a day, but I think experimenting figuring out how to do things with plastic maybe we will be able to get a movement of makers to use this stuff it'll i mean the worst the worst that can happen is we'll be compressing plastic so that it won't add, end up in the ocean as much um and really it's it's amazing at how we see so much trash and we never really use it like i just don't that that's always vexed me is like how do we have like all this trash and like we never see the raw material that just gets like buried like we just keep on burying raw material i just think it's kind of funny like <laughs> you don't need it let's just bury it <laughs> and um i i really hope that we can have some better type of I really hope that we can have a better use of um, of our rubbish. Like we really need to use rubbish. It's just part of what we do.